Hello again crafty people and welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing a little bit more resin art and if you saw the one I did earlier, oh let me go and find it, this one you'll remember, oh that does look, look good doesn't it, remember I did it on one of these cradled panels and used alcohol inks including a gold to create this with resin. So today I'm going to try and do it again because I wasn't overly happy with how that one came out. The bright colours that I'd used became a little bit more muted. So today I'm going to give it another try and see if I can make something a little bit brighter. This one would, I'd used a, a cradled panel. This one is a liquid art panel today. So if you look up in the corner, which corner is it? This one up here, I think a little eye is going to appear, which will direct you to my Jerry's unboxing video. And these, these liquid art panels are one of the items that I got from Jerry's. They're like a cradled birch panel on the back, but at the front, the front is slightly recessed. So you have like a little frame going around the outside, then a recess with this white board. And I thought this would be great for resin art. So I'm going to do my next one on this one. So uh, look back at that video to find out more about it. So I'm going to get a, a white background first of all, using the DecoArt Fluid Acrylics in Titanium White to make a white resin. And then I'm going to use some Ranger alcohol inks. You can see the colors. I've got, oh, I need my spectacles. Sunshine yellow, sunset orange and watermelon. So I'm going to make a nice kind of sunset coloured um, piece of art and because I love metallic sparkles, gold, glitter and things in everything, I'm also going to use this gold again. But I'm going to try this time to make more of the colours and less of the gold because I found the first one I did, the gold kind of spread out a lot and muted the colours. So this time I also want to try and be a little bit more conservative because sometimes it's so easy, another drop, another drop, another drop, another drop until the whole thing is covered. This time I want to try and be a little bit more, um, I'm going to hold back a little bit and try and see if I can keep some at least a little bit of white negative space. Now I know it's going to be difficult because once you leave these inks they still have a tendency to spread out a lot more so you come back later on and you think oh where's my negative space gone the inks have all spread out so we'll see what happens. Now as usual when I work with resin and alcohol inks I'm going to put my gas mask on so I won't be able to talk during the actual um, the part itself where I'm adding the inks into the resin but hold on after that section because I'll come back at the end and we'll take a look at the finished one and uh, then we'll have a chat about it. So I will add some music to this next session, uh, next, sec next section. So turn your uh, audio down if you don't want to hear that and then turn it back up and we'll chat later. See you then.
So here it is cured and finished. I have to say I'm a lot happier with this one than I was with my first one. I managed to keep just a little bit of negative space, but of course I still couldn't hold back. I was still one more drop, one more drop until almost the whole thing was covered again. But hey, we live and learn. Um, but I also managed to get much brighter colours this time. Not only was my white brighter, but all of the colours here were a lot brighter as well. There's still plenty of gold. You can see I think if I bring it down here, there we go, you can see not only the wonderful glossy perfect resin finish on it as I hold it up to my window and my light there, but also there's lots of gold. So as you uh, walk past this or look at it in the right kind of light, the, the gold in it really, really sparkles, so it looks good. But at the same time, I managed to keep much brighter colours this time, so I'm much happier with the result. And the liquid art panel turned out absolutely wonderfully for this. I overfilled it just a little bit, there we go, 
just here it overlap the edge just a little bit but a little bit of sandpaper on there will take that off and then I will varnish all the way around or I might just varnish over it it would probably disappear anyway if I did um, and then that will be perfect so try out these liquid art panels they're good for alcohol inks or for resin art or even for acrylic pouring too absolutely perfect for that so give those a try and thank you very much for watching again with my videos stay crafty and I will see you again in the next one see you soon